Alright guys, welcome back to... This is Bubble Knight here, and um, let's do Friendly Bunny Mochi. I think this is the third installment of the series. I'm kind of interested in what's going on, so I hope you will, you are as well. So let's just do it. I love treat. <laughs> Sorry, Juju. I'm running a little low on supplies, but I think I managed to pull a good meal together anyway. So I hope everything tastes alright. I know I'm not the greatest chef, but... Hey, I'm really not happy about the curry night you keep holding for those foxes. It's been three weeks now. What do you do keep plan on stopping? Well, I wasn't really. And you still keep you still visiting the wolf like every day. What's with that? Um hey, you should try the salad. I want to make it like Auntie Castella always. Don't try to change the subject. I'd rather talk about this than keep sitting here all day and mad at you. Yeah, okay. I just think if you get to know them, you'll see they aren't bad. Not a single one. Fox and the wolf eat rabbit. What part of that don't you get? You'll be incredibly naive. Don't you remember Mochi? How many are friends? No. How many are members of family? Have been attacked by the likes of them? Maybe you're just too young to remember all their names. I I remember. I know where everyone's fear comes from coming from, but I don't think hating them is the right answer. I'm not a kid anymore, Juju. I can make my own decisions. That's why I decided to do all this. T take it or leave it. You're still mad, aren't you? I'm worried about you, Mochi. I can't be here because I want to understand, but I don't know if that's possible. Juju. I'm going home now. See you tomorrow, okay? Maybe a hot bath will cheer me up. I think I'll go visit the hot springs. Oh, I know what the hot spring is. Wait, wait, am I supposed to eat it? Yeah. So I did eat my eat my uh my food. That's good. Don't waste food. We're supposed to go to hot springs, right? It's nice that the hot spring is just so close to my house. I just have to follow this path and I'll be there in no time, like always. Not that I'm in a rush. Maybe I'll say hi to some friends before I go. Like who? Like who? Oh, Mochi, did you come here for a slumber party? Were you trying to go to sleep? Sorry, I'm barging in so late. Oh no, I don't mind. Stay as long as you like. So, did I say hi? Am I supposed to say hi to these people? And who are you? No, Mochi, how are you, how are you this evening? I'm fine, but please don't call me little. Why not? Do I need a reason? I just don't like being treated as a kid. Odd, I see. Rather than your stature. You prefer your title pre referred to the size of your heart. Can we just leave the size out of it? In that case, I'll call you something based on another aspect of your heart. It's warmth. You're always blazing, Mochi. Just, just Mochi will be fine on its own. Okay. I guess, um... Uh, is this part of the story? I really like, would like to, you know, go go with part of the story. Oh, now we're in a rabbit town. Uh, okay. Hey, Juju Mochi. You know, I don't get accepted because I care about you. I don't want your niceness to mail with well. I know. When you're too kind, it's easier to get hurt. I'd rather be the bad guy than put anyone in danger, that's why. It's okay, Juju. You're not a bad guy or anything like that. It's only natural for you to protect your family and friends, right? Sure, except for you won't let me. Eh. Who are you? 
Ah, Nutmeg. Ah, Mochi, what is it? I'm busy keeping watch. Oh, I just wanted to say hello. Hope it's not too chilly standing out here alone in the dark. Now that tension between the foxes and rabbits have eased up a little, I'm more vigilant than ever. We can't risk reverting all the progress that's been made so far. A single incident could set everything back to square one. Haha, <laughs> it's so funny to hear this from you. It was only a few weeks ago that you treated all predators bad, and now you want everyone to be friends. Well, yes, I realized it would make my job easy if I never had to worry about rabbits getting eaten by on my watch. It's more efficient to strive for interspecies peace. I'm sure you agree. Efficient or not, I'll keep working hard to get everyone to trust each other. Then you won't be stuck standing out here in the cold all night. Thank you. Appreciate that. But please be on your way. I must be allowing myself to get too distracted by idle chatter. Okay, cool. Um, the supermarket, huh? You're laying anything? You aren't selling anything! Oh, actually, no. Do I have enough of two? Okay. Okay. Alright, so I bought one of each. That's, uh, I think that's what you're supposed to do, right? Who are you? Hello, Boris. Sorry to see that you're visiting Frosty again, but what are you doing standing out here in the cold? Just getting some fresh air. How are you doing tonight, Mochi? I'm doing fine. Just had dinner with my cousin Juju. Is that so? I haven't, I haven't figured out a dinner plan myself. Oh no, well, at least the store's still open. You better hurry up and feed yourself. I would, but I'm currently broke. Renting a room for the night was a little expensive than I expected. Then what are you gonna, you gonna start? That's no good. No, no, I just had to make some money. What? Money performing. I'm sure I'll be able to scrape something together. Performing? Yes, I'm a musician. Would you like to hear a song? Sure. That was wonderful. Here's a tip. Uh, the performance was meant to be free, but thank you, Mochi. You're very kind. If you ever need more favorites, just say the word. Did I lost money? Yes, I did. Holy crap. He charged a lot. Actually, he's a nice tipper. She's, she's a nice tipper. Okay, cool. No. Maybe I should save first before doing that. Before doing something weird, right? Uh, what's going on here? I'm prepared to summon a demon. What? Huh? Do you believe in the occult? Mochi? Angels, demons, spirits, gods. You scare me, Eleni. Zombies, werewolf, vampires. I'm the plus sucking werebats. I've never heard any of those. Anyway, since you are started reaching out to your dangerous entities, I was inspired to do the same. Dangerous entities? They're foxes! Ghosts and demons and stuff are a whole different other level. That's what's so attractive about them. I just hate to be a demon right away. Do you think I can befriend the one? You really said on this, huh? Well, good luck. Wow. Let's check out the Pentagon. Pentagram. I guess I didn't die in there, so that's good. Um, <laughs> wait, who's that? Oh, I think I already talked to him. Okay, cool. I am gonna uh, be found finally on my way to the hot springs, maybe. Oh, I have to walk all the way back, huh? Wait, hold on a second. Okay. Well, that was a nice little introduction of the town. You get to meet everyone and befriend everyone. 
This doesn't look good. Oh, it's Kaker! I'm gonna eat you! Oh, it's just you, Mercy. Were you going to the hospital too? Did you not hear me just now? I start you all the way out here and this is the reaction I get? I'm sorry, did you want me to scream? Well, it's too late for that now. I'm gonna make you my dinner! Huh? You're not gonna run away? You got a deal for you or something? No, I'd rather be friends than run away from you, that's all. What? I'll seriously eat you up! Really? Yeah! Well, I'm going to be- I'm going to hot springs. You can come too if you want. Oh, good, yeah. You'll taste even better than hot or stewing in there. That's what I'm waiting for, obviously. Haha, <laughs> you are funny. I'm glad we're finally getting a chance to have a good bonding experience together. You want to bond with me? Really? There's something seriously wrong with you, Dindins. My name is Dindins, it's Mochi. Haha, <laughs> that's the face I want to see. I'm hungry, so let's get a move on. That was kind of that was kind of weird. I, I'm just saying, that was kind of weird. Come on, let's go inside. I was just gonna wait out here, but all right, I guess. Welcome to the Hot Springs. We provide a rich cultural experience and, of course, an ice bath to warm your souls to minutes of even the coldest winter. Do you two always say the same, the whole thing every time someone comes in? And this is my third time hearing it. Yes, it's part of a service package. We must be courteous to our patrons and always provide a hearty greetings. Besides, you brought a new face. This fox is unfamiliar with our establishment, yes? We hope you find this most excellent place for the girls to bond. Please enjoy to your heart's content. Uh... Is it me or do they sound kind of cool with me being here? Our bands are predators was lifted our, as our reopening. We hope you'll recommend us to your friends. That means this is your first time. I'm so I'm glad we ran into each other. You've been totally missing out, Moxie. Yeah, I guess so. It's three dollar to use a luxury open air bath. Please relax and enjoy. Okay. So which way do I go? The girl side or the boy side? Um. Oh, hold on, Dennis. Are you sure you don't want me to go wait outside? You're here, so maybe we'll just enjoy the hot bath. You were standing on the cold for a while waiting for me to walk by, weren't you? Oh yeah, I could eat you, but why are you being so nice to me? Because I learned recently that everyone needs a friend. Come on! Oh my god. This... Pretty nice. Isn't it? And just to think you never would have come here if you're not for me. You don't know that. And maybe us foxes would have taken over your whole lane town and claimed this place for ourselves. But you've never done any of that. I think it's because you don't want to. Yeah, be a lot of effort. Is that the same reason you haven't eaten any rabbits yet either? What? Because it was just too much effort? Or is it because none of us wants to? Which, you, which do you think it is, Moxie? <sighs> Once we're done in here, I'll get to enjoy a nice steamed rabbit. That's what I think. Wow. Thank you kindly for your patronage. I guess we're done here. Do you want something for a vending machine? No thanks, gotta save room for the rabbits too. Oh, well, I see. Maybe they just don't like anything you like. Uh, were you listening? Rabbit stew means you! Hey, you rhymed. You rhymed. Haha. <laughs> what are you? A monster deflection? Quit shutting me down! Oh man. I guess we're done here. So, what do you want to do? Eat you up, of course. If you're hungry, huh? Maybe I can find you something to eat. Yeah, like I said, you do. Any last word, Dindins? Hmm, you say that stuff because bunny is your favorite food, right? Then I just have to find you a snack that's even tastier. You... What? Let's find you a new favorite food. That's 
the way that you don't have to keep making excuses for not eating me. I am not making excuses, but I am interested in a little idea, Dindin. I wonder if you'll be good and good、uh, able to find something good. Then it's decided. Back to frostings. Here we go. Okay, cool. I was running to the tree for help, but fine, we'll go the other way. Oh, that's tree, huh? That's where tree is. The bunny is actually pretty optimistic about this whole thing, but then she's probably like, um, I guess more on the lucky side that Moxy isn't a really bad person. Is this the the house? Okay, cool. Welcome to my house. I keep lots of tasty treats here. Yeah, for rabbits. You're not gonna try to feed me grass, are you? Not unless you ask me to. I have fruits, berries, lots of lettuce and carrots. Juice boxes. Juice boxes. How old are you? Adults can drink juice boxes. Yeah, if you want to look like a toddler, I guess. I don't want to be ever that kind of person who takes life too seriously. No one ever too old to do anything. You better remember that. Huh? What are you getting all mad for? Well, I hate getting looked down on so, for silly reason. Doesn't everyone? Yeah, sorry. It's okay. So I could give you one of these super tasty, delicious juice boxes. But I guess that wouldn't solve your hunger problem. It's really freaky how you switch back to being all cheery in an instant. We can look around to see if you want anything. Otherwise, I'll, we have to take you to the store. Heh, <laughs> fine. Show me what you got. The salad. Do you want to try some salad? I made it special. Rabbit food is the worst. I don't want any dumb salad. Oh, oh okay. No, don't cry, Dindis. I didn't mean for it to be real. Sorry, it's just my cousin didn't want to eat it either. Did I make it bad? Nah, it's just fine. Then will you tr then will you try it? Still no. Fox don't eat stuff like this. Fine. See anything you like to eat in here? Got any eggs? I can never turn down good eggs. No, sorry. Then there's nothing. I should just eat you instead. Yeah, but you won't do it, so I will keep looking. Man, pantry offer you some maize on rice, but I used it for curry last night. Are you really gonna make me eat all the curry for us every week? Yep, I guess it's not your favorite though, since you still say you want to eat rabbits. That's because rabbit meat is the best. There's just no substitute, no matter how hard you try to find one. Don't say that. You should at least look for some other option before you decide that they're no good. All right.、Hmm. Yeah. Nope. Sorry, Dindins. I don't see anything in here I want to eat. All right. Huh. I already let you through the front door. You wouldn't want to. You wouldn't need to be sneaky all that. Still on fence, huh? I gotta think of better line to scare you with. I guess we're going out to the store. Let's go to the store then. Wait, how did how did the?、Uh... Oh, I better avoid the. I better avoid that person. There we go. There should be plenty of options for you for you here. Go ahead and look around if you want. You're not the boss of me. I'll look around, but not because you told me to. Okay. Mochi, is that fox giving you trouble? Want me to call Juju for help? No, don't call her. Mochi's a friend. Friend? Since when? Huh? You don't want to be friends? Listen, kiddo. You can expect all of the predator around here to want to be friends with you, even if you give them food. It's unrealistic. Juju's been talking, been talking to you about me, hasn't she? Who's Juju? She's my cousin. She really doesn't like foxes and wolves. She's gonna be happy if she sees you walking around here with a fox. Not gonna be happy. It's so late at night. 
it'll be okay. I'll just go into buy the foxy a tree before escorting her home. Don't make it sound like you are babysitting me. A tree for a fox? I might just have something for that. What? A blueberry tart? I don't. I don't. Thank you, Danny. Let's see if Moxie likes it. Okay, Moxie, come here and try this. What is it? A blueberry tart. Try to bite. Alright. What the heck? This is awesome! Hooray, I did it. I found you a food that you like. I gotta hand it to you, Dindins. This thing is probably even better than a rabbit meat. Only probably? Yeah, I mean... I've never actually had a rabbit with me before, so I wouldn't know. You never, ha you haven't, never in your whole life. Yeah, I mean, the only me we ever eat is through the shipment from that witch town. They don't sell rabbit. You, you really never hunted anything. What do you think we live in the dark ages? Predators just eat whatever they can get from the store. Everything's easier this way, that way. Except we still want to eat the taste that tastes good, you know? That's why we all showed up here. But it's harder than you think, especially when there's rabbits like you who are just way too nice for your own good. When you're that freaking nice, of course I hesitate. Of course I wouldn't be able to actually eat you. Moxie. Anyway, thank for the food. You may you may explore me home now. I wonder if anything else knows that little secret. I sure didn't. Yeah, I don't know if Juju would believe it though. Oh, this is kind of nice. So, okay, that's a pretty much a good stopping point. I'm interested in this game. I'm gonna go through this series. Uh, every, every, once while, every once in a while, you need stuff like this kind of warm your spirit or your heart or something. But, um... After this, I'm gonna go back to the letter. Okay, cool. I got my schedule planned out. Thank you guys always again for watching this. I say it again, you guys have made all the difference in my speaking skills. This is, I'm able to do speaking like this because of you guys. Like, I don't know, I think I come a far away in my kindergarten videos, so. No amount of appreciation can come from like me that you know show how much I appreciate you guys. So, but anyways, as always, thank you guys very much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.